All right, y'all. I got a question for you. So something's come up and this video is going to be for all of my hometown people. It's Mount Morris, Dansville, Geneseo, even Rochester. This video is for my hometown. I'd like your opinion. And it's also for my financial coach. So Dave, if you're watching, we need to talk. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you guys will be really excited about this or if you're gonna think I'm literally off my bloody rocker and just shouldn't be allowed to do things anymore. But, um, so something came up. Um, there was a delay apparently on, um, everybody knows I sold my house to get out here to Oregon, um, and some contractors bought it. And, uh, it was supposed to, like, be mostly done by now, but I've, uh, recently been in contact with the contractors who bought it, and turns out there was a big fat delay in getting the uh, house started. Therefore, a very long delay in the house being finished. And I have been given the opportunity to be the first person allowed to buy the house back. Um, yeah. So that's really... Not only have I been given an opportunity to buy the house back, um, but it will be fixed up according to, I mean, basically my wishes for the most part. You know, for the most part. A little bit. Um, and also it'll be fixed up for grooming. So it will be there will be a, a designated grooming space put back into the house specifically for dog grooming. So I'd basically be buying back my shop and my house all at the same time. Um, I don't have a figure yet on the cost of the house, um, but it doesn't really change my plans too much out here. Because I'm saving for an emergency fund and then I was planning on saving up for a down payment for a tiny home regardless. So it actually doesn't change my plans all that much except for I would need to probably scramble and save even more like really really like basically work non-stop until February um, and I say February of 2022 because that is theoretically when the grooming salon portion would be finished and I could drive home and start working out of the house again and then I would be staying in the house for the remainder of the renovation. Um, so yeah, that's insane. Um, I would love to know what everybody in my hometown thinks about that. I would love to know what my financial advisor thinks about that. If you guys think I'm freaking insane. Um, like, if they fix that house up the way they're talking about, uh, it would really be a priceless dream house to get that house back. Um, not that I don't love it out here on the coast. You all see my pictures. You see what I'm doing out here. Not that I don't love it, but... By golly, I always said if I had an opportunity to get that house back, I might try. And such an opportunity has officially landed in my lap. So let me know what you guys think. Tell me if I'm stupid. Seriously. Tell me if I'm out of my league, if I have no business trying to do something like that. Um, or maybe it's a good idea, I don't know. You tell me. Tell me what you think. Because, uh, I'm really thinking about it. Like I said, it doesn't change my plans a whole lot. Yeah, okay. I gotta make a bunch of soap today. Yeah. Uh, there was four loaves there, I got four loaves left to make, and I got six loaves in that box. I had a big giant five hundred soap, uh, five hundred dollar soap order to make this weekend, and if this whole thing goes through, if I'm going to be really doing this, I'm going to basically be trying to save like twenty thousand dollars in the next few months. Like, I'm going to be making a lot of soap, is all I'm saying. So yeah, let me know what you think. Okay, I'm out. I gotta make soap.